Imagine taking your audience on a visual journey through time with racing bar charts or mapping global trends with stunning geo maps. Yes, it's not just possible, it is drag and drop easy. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this amazing racing bar charts as well as static visualization for your data set using the amazing tool Flourish. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is to sign in into your Flourish Studio. For that, you have to go to the URL flourish.studio. Once you land on this page, you'll have to click on the get started now button. And after signing in using your Google account, you will land on a page that looks like this. This is actually the dashboard for the Flourish Studio. And if you already have certain projects, all of them will be available right here. But if you are a new user, then you will have an interface exactly like that. So there are a wide variety of use cases for which you can use the Flourish to create different type of visualizations. But let's say that you are a business analyst at a tech consultancy who wants to show how the smartphone sales have shifted among the leading manufacturers over the last decade to inform a presentation at a tech industry conference. For that purpose, you can easily use Flourish to create visualization by providing your data set. So the first step of this creating the visualization is data preparation. For that, we firstly need to have the data source. And for that, I'm going to use this data set present on the Kaggle. It is a global phone sales by company Samsung, Apple and Huawei. It actually contains the quarterly smartphone shipment count for the major manufacturers and also provides a total of smaller manufacturers. So this is how the data set actually looks like. You can see that we have a column for the quarters for the three years and it has also provided us the shipment counts for each different smartphone manufacturer for each quarter. Apparently the data set looks fine but if you take a look at the template provided by the Flourish so here is a template for a racing bar chart provided by the Flourish where you can see that we have different countries and the different values for each country showing the different kinds of stats. So if we look at the data set by clicking on this data button right here, you will see that we have to provide a mapping for the columns with the data inside the Flourish. So you have to map your columns with the label, the values and the categories. And thus it will provide us the correct bar chart which is in the racing format. So if we look at our data set, we cannot provide a correct mapping of these columns to the columns available at the Flourish. So we need to transform our data set which is compatible with the format which is required for the mapping. For that we are going to take the help from chat GPT. So after uploading our data set I'm going to provide it the prompt. Convert this data set into the provided format and provide new data set for downloading. And then for the format I'm going to provide it this notation that firstly we need to have a column for the manufacturer. Then we need to have separate columns for each quarter. And this is going to be the format that we have to provide the manufacturer and the number of units in the shipment for each quarter for each different brand. Once you do that, it is going to perform some analysis on our data set and it's going to convert it. And after converting our data set into the required format, it has provided us this CSV file which you are going to download. So now our data set looks like this. We have the column for the manufacturers and then we have a column for each quarter under which we have the number of units sold in millions. Now our data is all set to be used for visualization. So now we're going to head back to the Flourish and you have to click on create new visualization. Once you do that, you will have a wide variety of templates to choose from. You have simple line bar and pie charts, which are static. You have the projection map, the scatter plots, 3D maps. But for this example, I want to create a racing bar chart. So I'm going to select this default template for the racing bar chart. So this is the template which contains all of this data where all the columns have been successfully mapped to the format required for the racing bar chart. But we want to generate this racing bar chart for our own data. For that, you have to click on upload data button and select your CSV file. Once you do that, it will ask you to import the data set. Once you click continue, now you have your data set right here. Now the next thing is to provide a mapping of these columns to the columns for the visualization. So here by default, it is selected the columns. Firstly, for the label, it has selected the column A that we want the manufacturers to be the labels. Then we have different values. So we have the values from the column B to the column L. Then there is categories. You can provide any column label for the categories, but I'm going to leave it empty. And then you also have the option to add the image. So if I show you the graph right now, you will see that it is of the same color and without any image. But if you want to add an image, I'm going to add a new column on the right side of the last column. Since the label of the column is M, so here I'm going to map it with the image. 
and in this column you have to provide the url for the image which you want to display on your racing bar chart so here i've copied the urls of the images for all the different manufacturers here is the url now if we preview the chart this is how it looks like you can see that here it is showing us the quarter and then the values are dynamically changing for each quarter showing us that the sales of which brand smartphone increases for each quarter and you can also go ahead and customize it you can also change this chart to vertical but I like it to be horizontal so I'm going to leave it to be horizontal then you also have the option to change the colors for the chart right now it is in the same color but you can always go ahead and change the colors for that you have to change the color mode to bar and then if you're not happy with the color scheme you can go ahead and change the color scheme by selecting the palette that you require and then you also have a wide variety of options you can also change the labels you can also change the properties of the images you also have different type of options to choose from if you go to the header you can add different type of titles subtitles and text so let's say i want to display the title global phone sales by the company so i'm going to provide the text right here inside the title and then you also have the option for the subtitle for that you can provide the year so here we have the data for the year 2018 to 2020 you can provide it as the subtitle and it will appear right here under the title you can also add certain text if you want but i'm gonna leave it empty so in this way you can see that we have converted our data set into a racing bar chart just by providing the correct mapping for the columns now comes the part where we want to add it to our different type of presentations or the websites so there are a few different ways of doing it if you want to get this graph in the form of, a, of an image it is very simple you simply have to click on export and publish button and then click on the download image button which will provide you the option to select the format in which you want to download it but since it is an image format then you will have a static image of certain part of your graph but if you want to have this dynamic chart as it is for that you have to click on add to canva presentation add to canva and then use this design inside your canva it will ask you to connect your Ca flourish account with the canva you simply connect it and then your visualization will be available to you right here inside the canva you can go ahead and download it from the canva and embed it into your different presentations so this was an example of creating a dynamic and interactive racing bar chart what if you want to create a static visualization for your data you can also do that using flourish for that you simply have to go to the home and then click on new visualization once you do that it will ask you to choose the template so now i'm going to use the same data set but to create a static pie chart for that i'm going to click on show more options and out of these options i want this pie chart as my visualization so once you select it it will provide your dummy data and a template to start from but we want to have our own data so for that i'm going to upload the data set right here once you do that you will have all of the columns and it has by default mapped our columns to the required columns for the pie chart so now if we click on the preview button this is how our visualization looks like and here it is only displaying us the visualization for one quarter if you hover upon any of the part of the pie chart you will see that all of the values are for the quarter one of the year 2018 but if you want to have the visualization in the form of a pie chart for all the different quarters of all the years you have a way to do that too if you see on the right side we have an option for the grid mode right now we have selected a single chart but if you connect a grid of charts it is going to show you multiple visualizations which is for each different quarter of each year which is present inside the data set and you can always go ahead and hover upon different values to view the value of different brands for each quarter but you can see that right now these are appearing very small let's change the formatting so now for that i'm going to click on grid of charts and the grid mode is selected to be auto i'm going to change it to be fixed and now we have a slightly big visualization which is clearly visible to us and you can easily scroll down and view the values for different quarters for different brands and just like you could change the color for the racing bar chart you also have the option to change the color for this pie chart for that you can either select the theme which will provide you predefined colors for all the different charts you can select the apex you can select the midnight or you can go with the no theme and if you want to manually set the color scroll down you'll have the option for the colors and you can change the color from these different palettes so in this way you can use the flourish studio to create different types of static as well as dynamic visualizations in just a few clicks 
So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.